Hey friend, welcome to your workout. Today we're doing a 20 minute prenatal cardio and strength workout. Of course, you don't have to be pregnant to do this workout, but it is tailored to people who are in their first, second, and third trimester, so all trimesters. I'm currently in my second trimester, so I'm going to be giving you modifications though if you are in your third trimester and the belly's a little bit bigger and you just need to um, make space for baby. And just make sure that you are modifying to suit your needs, so if you feel lightheaded or nauseous or you need some water, please take care of yourself. It's really important, especially now during this time when you're growing a baby, to take care of your body and listen to your body. That being said, this workout is really designed for people who have been working out before the pregnancy um, and have continued to work out throughout the pregnancy. So it's more of an advanced cardio and strength workout, but you can really tailor it to what you need. You can always drop your weights or bring them down to a lower weight. I have a set of eight pound dumbbells here, but grab what you have, grab whatever works for you. That's just for reference and we'll just probably need one or two sets. I'm just gonna show you everything with one set. All right, we're gonna start with a little bit of an informal warm up so we can warm up that body put your hands to your hips and we'll hinge forward and then stand up and squat hinge stand squat so it's a flat back as you hinge you feel a hamstring stretch let's do three more two more one more. Let's do some lunges. Stand at the top of your space. Step your leg back into a lunge and step back to the front. Lunge in front. So we're just alternating our lunges. Let's do two more lunges on each side, each leg. One more. All right, now we'll do some arm circles. Go back with those arms. And you can start making them like big and fast. Let those arms just swing. And then we're gonna switch directions in three, two, one, switch. for three, two, one. Now we're gonna take some kind of twists side to side. You can just let your arms sway as you twist. Keep your feet planted. For five, four, three, two, and one. Lastly, let's take some side bends up and over. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Rise up and side bend and hold for five, four, three, two, one. And let's do a fold. Take your legs as wide as you need as you fold here. Let your head hang heavy. We'll slowly roll on up, roll the shoulders back and down. And let's get started with our workout. We're starting in 15 seconds. Our format is 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Grab your dumbbells if you're doing that. You don't need them for this exercise, but we're gonna bring them um, up to the chest. Take the legs wide and we're doing side lunges. All right, starting now. Now this is a no repeat workout. So I really want you to give it your all with each exercise. So really get low in your lunge. Really combining a lot of cardio and strength movements together so that we get the benefits of both. We have 10 more seconds here. All right, now we'll rest. You can set those weights down. We'll grab them again, or you can do this next exercise without, without them. A lunge kickback, so a lunge. And as you bring your leg up, you get a little lift, and you can feel the glutes work there. Okay, grab your weights if you're doing that. You can bring them to your shoulders. 
All right, we'll lunge, come up, keep that leg lifted, kick. All right, same leg, keep going. Keep your core engaged. Ten more seconds here. All right. 20 second rest before we do the other side. In five seconds, let's take that other, other leg back. Ten more seconds, my friends. Rest. Squat press is next. So with your dumbbells, you'll put them at your shoulders. You're gonna squat and then press all the way up. You can always drop the weights and do this without. All right, let's go. But really push with power, like you mean it. We only have 40 seconds of this exercise today. Come on, push. Nice work. Set those weights down. We're going to do skaters here. So we'll be going side to side. Now you don't have to hop, you can step. That's your modification. Three seconds here and let's go. Swing those arms in the direction you're going and look in that direction. Ten more seconds. Let me rest. All right. Next up, we have L, L raises. Grab your dumbbells, and you're going to be going out and down like that. One goes forward, one goes to the side, alternating. Ready, set. Go, slowly release. That makes it more challenging. We're controlling the release. It's kind of switching gears from like the hit style cardio exercise we just did. Now more pure strength for this one. We're breathing. We have 10 more seconds. Okay, next over, next up is bent over flies. So you'll lean, hinge like we did at the beginning, and then you're taking your weights out and down, and again, you're trying to slow release on this one as well. Okay, ready? 
set, go. This is great back exercise. Slow release, I know it's hard, especially if your weights are on the heavier side. Fifteen more seconds here. Alrighty. Option to keep holding onto those dumbbells. We're gonna do some curtsy lunges. So we'll start with the right leg back behind us. And you can put the weights wherever it feels comfortable. So right leg is gonna cross back and we're going to go up and down pulses. So all the way down and all the way up. So not really pulses, but full range, static in the same position. Strong abdominals. Hug the baby in towards the midline with your transverse abdominals. 10 more seconds. Rest. Whew, I love curtsy lunges. They're such a, such a great burner for the quads and the glutes. 10 seconds. All right, let's put those weights up and curtsy lunges. We have 10 more seconds. And rest. Okay, next up, we're going to do a deadlift and a row. So you're going to deadlift like so, and then row, and then come back up. Got it? Three seconds. This is our last one before we get a one minute break. All right, one down, row, and rise back up. There's another one where when you go down, you wanna think about hugging the baby in towards the midline, wrapping the baby in. So you're kind of hugging your abdominal muscles towards the center. I know it's a lot to think about. One more. All right, one minute rest. If you need a longer rest, hit pause. And you're halfway through the workout. Okay friends, grab your dumbbells. And what we're gonna do is two military presses, and then you'll take the weights forward for an Arnold press and then back out. Ready, go. Keep 
keep it up. We're halfway through this exercise. Nice job. So you can set them down or you can continue to hold on to the weights. We're gonna go from squat to lunge. So at the front of your mat, we'll do it together. You're gonna squat and then lunge on one side, squat, lunge back on the other side. All right, weights up and let's go. Squat and lunge. Keep that chest up. When you lunge, try to get the knee as low as you can. Five more seconds. Okay, set those weights down. We're going to a runner's lunge kick. So you're gonna start with the right leg back. We're going to lunge, and you can either pause at the top, you can bring the knee up, or you can kick it forward. All right, lunge. Maybe if baby belly are in the way, you just stand, you're not kicking. Almost there. Okay, 10 seconds, back to it. We'll do left leg back. And go. You're so close to being done with this workout. I'm so proud of you for making it through so far. Stay with me. Ten more seconds here, friends. Catch your breath. Woo! Feels good. Tricep extensions. You can grab one or both. Dumbbells. We're gonna take them straight up. Ready? Lift. And let's go. Halfway. So bend and a full extension of the arms. down. Come on to your hands and knees. We're going to extend our right leg straight back. I'll tell you what we're doing as we do it. All right, ready? Extend it straight back and then bring your right leg out to the right and take it straight back behind you. So turn your toes a little to the right. Bring it all the way up and bring it back. If it's too much, bend the knee and bring it out and extend it back. 
Try to keep the arms straight. Almost there. We'll see how the other side feels. Second side is always different, usually harder, but we got this. In five seconds. This way. Okay, leg back, toes turn out, bring it out, and take it back. Bring it out, take it back. It's definitely not an easy movement. Remember, you can always bend the knee if there's any pain or discomfort. We just want to modify. Come on up, we're doing some cardio. We're gonna do jumping jacks. Modification is here. Otherwise, full jumping jacks. Do the best you can. Five seconds, let's go. I don't know about you, but during pregnancy, it feels like everything's just kind of moving around a lot more than it was before. <laughs> We're halfway. Last 10. Okay, rest. Let's come back down to the ground. We're doing knee down push ups. Even if you can do push ups, without your knees. This is really important to prevent diastasis recti, um, to not do full planks right now. So bring your knees down, modify push-ups on your knees. Most of us, including myself, um, cannot actually hold a plank without uh, the doming of the linea alba which is the fascia right in the center of your core. This is what happens when the belly expands and we're pregnant. So I always say, worry about planks after your pregnancy. You can get right back to it afterwards. 10 more seconds here, push. Come on. And rest. Come on, come on up. Last one, we're doing another cardio exercise. You're going to squat and tap our heel behind us, alternating legs. This one's kind of fun. Last one, three, two, one, let's go. Once you get the rhythm down, keep it going, keep that pace. Only 30 more seconds of work today. We have 10 more seconds. And rest. Yes. Fantastic job. I feel great. I don't know about you. <sighs> so take time to cool down, walk around, maybe your hands behind your head. And if you have a chance, I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below. Subscribe, please, if you're not subscribed to the channel. And let's continue to move together. All right, I'll see you next time.